And there we go, we're back, just doing a quick uh, video cuts of sorts. And ooh, what kind of was? Down to one ship once again. Yeah, it would seem as though, the, like, once you pick off one of the supply ships, the results are immediate, or one of the supply convoys, I should say. The results are immediate, and um, for whatever reason, taking out one of the th out one of the three of these seven, um, seven ship convoys uh, immediately knocks down the number of uh, defenders here to one, I, I guess? Maybe it's just a coincidence, maybe not. Uh, but anyhow, this will be the sinking of Nagato-class battleship. And there we go, torpedoes going in, did some damage, luckily we didn't lose any aircraft, so pretty happy about that. Coming in from the Oracle Royal. Nice stream of six torpedo bombers, dropping the payloads now. Few nice, lovely volleys there. Unfortunately, probably not going to um, yeah sink that Nagato class because that thing is just armored to the teeth. Got a nice top-down look at it. It's got a nice four-battery uh, thing going on there. New Orleans class should just pull out at this point. And you know what, I'm gonna get the HMS uh, Ark Royal and the Enterprise to bank in on this mission. Just because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a long night for the airmen to take this uh, Nagato class down. How's the HMS Renown doing as well? It's closing in, so that's not too bad. Oh, perfect. Got a nice volley on it. Man, even when the Nagato class, or even when, even when the battleships only have one working gun, it still poses such an immense like uh, risk to your ships. Just incredible. There we go, that bumps us up to 48-some uh, million uh, war bonds. And I guess we'll grab our ship here. Do a bit of a turn here. Go upwards. I'm waiting. I want to. I want to like find some more convoys to attack. And oh, finally, finally, there's a fleet that will run away from us. Haven't seen that uh, before. And would you look at that? Two Italian supply fleets guarded by battleships. So at least the Italians are uh, you know getting smart about the fact that our. Uh, our legendary fleet here is prowling the seas and picking off targets, so they've um, they've included some battleships to defend their uh, transports. Unfortunately for them, uh, battleships are also on our list of ships to uh, to to mess up in light terms. So, um, seeing as how we, our ships spawned really close to each other, I guess I'll take command of the HMS Renown here. Drop off one battery, get the secondary guns firing as well. And let's see, you're gonna do a nice, lovely turn. There we go. We'll put uh, both of the batteries on top of that, that battleship. And unfortunately, those go over and come in a bit late. Let's see whether or not we have some better luck this time. Ooh, props damage, that's not good. We've had this happen before. And for whatever reason, the props seem to be. Uh, on the contrary to real life, fairly fast repairing uh, portions of the ship, and as you can see, they're already done. So, at least that's good. And once again, they are damaged, so it'll be uh, momentarily before we resume full speed. I guess in the meantime, we'll continue trading off. Oh, fuel system damage, that is not good volleys with this uh, Pontus Aquila class, or, you know, the Pontus Aquila, the Cayo du Liu class battleship. And there we go, nice lovely hit. Took out a whole bunch of weapon systems. Still able to fire those, I want to say secondary, um, no, those are actually out of range from secondary uh, guns, so they have some sort of an absurd main cannon array that fires a huge volley at once here. 
Anyhow, that battleship is, uh... It's sunk right there. Lost engineering, there are hull breaches. Water is probably getting into that ship as, uh... As we speak, and oh no! That's rather surprising. I guess the, uh... HMS Renown was at the very edge of the map, so I guess it's, uh... It technically left the battlefield. Didn't really, uh... Didn't really expect that to happen, but alright. Um, let's see, we'll get the U U USS Enterprise to come around the side here. It's launching another sortie of planes. And would you look at that, they are going for that destroyer, so at least the, the USS Enterprise is safe now. And that pocket class, uh, whether that uh, Italian battleship, not the pocket class, should go down momentarily as well. Well, finish the supply fleet at least, so the battleship technically escapes. Not really though. We are gonna catch up to it. Bump into it a bit, and it has six hit points, or you know, six percent of its uh, hit points left. So this should be a fairly fast battle. And the planes are out once again. I'd, uh, if I were if I were that ship, I would just surrender at this point. But, uh, where are the bombers? It says they're launched. There they are. First of them, we're gonna be torn on die bombers, so chances are is that... Oh, no. They indeed, uh, they do hit something this time. So, at least that's good. And either way, I, we get a nice, uh, 3 million off of that. So, uh, let's put all our ships in port, get the HMS Renown repaired, and buy the HMS Hood. Hopefully, or the USS Hood, I'm not really sure if it's a... Uh, I'd, I'd imagine it's a British ship, just going off of how it sounds. But it might be a... A American ship. Let's see. Pull up into Okinawa. Go to the shipyard. And... Let's see, so... Put class battle cruiser. Well, alternatively, the, the Queen Elizabeth battleship. Queen Elizabeth has more armor, though less health, and is a tad slower. Though this ship is much, uh, yeah, it's much smaller than the other one. So the hood from the looks of it is slightly more powerful in the sense that it has torpedoes. Though it's much longer. It's slightly faster, and it has more hit points, whereas the Queen Elizabeth has more armor. I think we'll go with the Hood class, simply because, um, I, I don't know, I, I think one person recommended it, or, you know, wanted to see it. The second thing is that I'm not really sure whether or not that tiny bit of this, like, you know, length will help all too much. So, I guess we'll buy the Hood, sail off here with our band of nine ships, swing into, uh, let's see... Oh, I see. They are, uh... Japanese are actually attacking one of our ports. Far, far away as well. 200 kilometers to the south. Um, it's from... I want to say it's not attacking a, ma a, a important port. So, with that said, I think we'll go to Shanghai. We'll finish off the defenders here. And would you look at that? There is only six defenders now. So, come, on, come over here. Oh! Manfred von Richthofen has been uh, apparently repaired and is uh, back on the seas, but I think we'll swing over here, take out the Con oh, and the Congo class has also been uh, has been repaired as well apparently. So I think we'll just swing to Shanghai here, take it over, and see where the game goes from there. Really. And oh yikes, they have a submarine this time. I didn't. Uh, didn't read that on the, uh, the, the the ledger thing there, so now we have to sink that submarine using air power because we don't have anything else that can uh, reach it. There we go. The AI automatically does it for us, so, so thank you, game. The planes should be out, doing their thing. Get the HMS Renown to uh, do its best in skirmishing off with that Japanese heavy cruiser. The 
meantime, I guess we can watch the HMS Hood duke it out with the, uh, I want to say the Congo class over there. Ooh, yikes, the Ark Royal is taking, taking a bit of hate. What's up here? I like mounting craft, alright. So at least the, uh, the Marines here are soaking up some of the damage for us. And would you look at that, Congo's on fire, it's burning away. And I guess that fire managed to kill off enough of the crew for that skeleton crew effect to come about. It's pretty neat there. Man, none of those, uh, <laughs> none of the pilots can aim in the game. And come on, there's only one ship left. This shouldn't take so long. Come on, USS Brooklyn. Sink that destroyer escort. There we go. And I guess that finishes off uh, yet another major port. The last of this chain of ports, in fact. Gives us a nice $8 million in war bonds. And I think we'll just conclude this episode here. So I'll visit the... Uh, I'll visit the HQ, see what it brings. Doesn't seem to bring anything though. But I guess that finishes this chain of um, strategic ports. And with that said, I'm gonna switch over to the main map here and uh, wanted to see whether or not like Japan or the, the home island ports would be available for targeting. But um, I guess not, not yet uh, at least. Right, so I guess we'll see uh, what happens on this front later on inside the next episode. Hopefully what it'll do is that it'll just tell us to uh, take over the last remaining Japanese homeland ports, and that'll be that'll be it. Well, technically, I guess we haven't taken any of the, the homeland ports just yet, but um, I'm sure it'll say something along those lines. Anyhow, um, I'll see you guys uh, then. So, bye-bye for now.